Recording of stereoscopic image is based on saving scenes separately for each eye. To do it, there are used two identical cameras on exploded optical paths. During playback, the image of the left camera goes to the left eye and the image of the right camera to the right eye. The brain combines the two flat images, giving the sense of depth. The eyes are spaced apart by about 6.5 cm. This is the reason that they see the same area from a slightly different perspective and from different angle. During shooting on a movie plan, there is a need to adjust the settings of the cameras and spacing between them all the time. They must correspond to currently established scene geometry. Made to date changes of settings, for example stereoscopic base, convergence, aperture and focus, should interact with each other and meet at the appropriate correlation. To achieve proper convergence of the eyes during 3D projections, you should give sufficient parallax budget on shooting and appropriate division between negative, close and positive, long parallax in post-production. Unsuitable settings of stereoscopic base in relation to the shooting scene may result in improper shift of left and right image during 3D projection. Excessive horizontal spacing of image, more than the standard 6.5 cm, causes the viewer's eyes will set up divergently. This significantly reduces the comfort of receiving stereoscopic image and this is the obvious technical error of 3D content. The tool CinemaVision Shot Calculator is created to control the budget of parallax for extract scenes and shots. The program helps to plan and carry out technically correct 3D shot in several aspects. Selection, configuration and proper setting of camera for shooting the scene, modeling location of plans, short, central and long, on the basis of a conceptual draft, assessment of the parallax budget, and checking the perception of plants and objects by the audience on the assumed target display screen. Getting started on calculation is setting up a basic input details. Information is divided into several tabs. Project is a tab with global project details. Camera is to define camera set features on the basis of available hardware resources. and target screen is to be set up too. Indication the size of display, full screen cinema or TV set, is essential for carrying out calculations. Those settings are global for many potential shot calculations on the movie plan. The choice of camera model at camera tab complements the fixed parameters related to. If any parameter is adjustable, a list of possibilities is dropping down. The definition of each parameter is displayed after pressing the icon with question mark. This hint is available for any feature. Filling features to camera produces a finished traceable camera set, which assigns a unique name in the camera ID at Metadata tab. Setting up the Screen tab, Destination Screen, is crucial for the proper stereoscopic base selection later. In this tab, the target screen for recorded footage is defined. Image displayed on the cinema screen is many times greater than on standard TV set, so the shift of the projection for the left and the right eye is larger too. This offset, comfortable on the TV screen, can be completely unacceptable on a big cinema screen and can disqualify the shot for the theatrical distribution. Target screen configuration allows you to visualize the perception of the calculated 3D scene for a potential audience. It is to do at the screen view on main window. Tabs Lens and Metadata 
are essential for carrying out and storing calculation. LensTab contains a collection of fixed and adjustable parameters related to the optics of camera set. Handling focus and aperture, you can manipulate the depth of field according to the requirements of the scene. The key control parameter during the calculation of parallax budget is value of rig baseline, also called interaction, the spacing between the cameras. Optimal selection of the baseline has the most significant impact on the quality of the stereoscopic depth. Metadata information identifies the shot. Key identifiers make up a suggested name construction for saving the calculation file. On pre-production calculation, there are no values for real ID and clip ID yet. They are marked only and are to be updated at real shooting time. The update is automatic if you use CinemaVision Rig Controller to support camera set. The main calculation window allows you to set and modify position of the plans on the basis of shot concept. Interactive mode of work is preferable. There are created and constantly updated dimensional axes for model. Rig configuration is visualized by left and right camera symbols and the convergence track of the optical axis. Colors of bars and sliders correspond to the plans. The red one to the closest plan, the green to the main plan and the blue to the far. On the model you can check in and modify additional sliders. Purple, which is interactive point of focus and light purple range of depth of field. Their position depends on the aperture value. Moving bars or sliders, you can simulate position of plants, regards to camera set. Distances can also be entered as numbers at the description tab, in the table below the model of shot. You can turn on the visibility of the two additional auxiliary objects, symbol of apple and pear, to more accurately describe the reality of a particular scene. They can be freely positioning on the model. In the description tab, you can name the individual component of the model adequately to its equivalent at the storyboard. Handling calculation is mainly based on the positioning the elements of the model and changing the settings of camera optical system. The aim is to optimize the budget of parallax for 3D shot. Stored and assigned to a clip calculation creates documentation for parallax budget in 3D shot that can be very useful later in post-production. Shot calculator computes on fly the value of parallax at any distance on the shot model for actual adjustment of camera set. The course of parallax changes is visualized in the chart. You can view the metric and the percentage rate of parallax at any distance on the axis of the scene. The values and the course of chart are updated after change of any plan location for the shot model or after adjustment camera set parameters. For example, when you change the rig baseline. By changing the position of plan sliders and manipulating with camera settings, you can simulate the entire process of shooting and be aware of the distribution of the parallax budget on the footage. The software indicates graphically exceeding the permissible value of parallax. As a reminder, it is 65 mm. Color of the chart course changes from green to red. The corresponding entries in the description and field of view tabs indicate the limit values exceeding.
If the settings of rig baseline is insufficient to achieve the secure budget of parallax, there are possible other simulation activities. Remodeling the scene, by meaning changing the position of camera set, switching the actors and scenography, or changing lenses and lens settings. Switching the model of the calculation from the scene to screen view, you can estimate how the audience will perceive the 3D scene on the assumed target screen. Generated dimensional axes allow to read the value of negative and positive parallax for the plants and objects and the apparent distance from the viewer. The position and distance of the plants allow you to estimate their apparent size on the screen, viewing comfort and quality of stereoscopic effects. Calculation approach, structured and stored on pre-production, is the basis for stereographer to verify parameters on a film set. The final acceptation of the shot model and the rig baseline is to be decided just before start shooting, often as a result of director's improvements. Veritable metadata for shot, as real ID and clip ID, are updated. If the camera set comes with CinemaVision rig controller, it takes automatic synchronization between the approved calculation and parameters of cameras, lenses and rig. After the shooting, set of calculation data is uniquely assigned to the scene. Pairing calculation and shot is the great benefit for the next steps of post-production activities. Ability to check the calculation of the parallax budget for the film shots is important for applying the proper techniques of image correction. It is useful to create special effects or improve stereoscopy depth in the target issue. Knowledge of parallax budget makes it easy to select the best shot from several versions of the 3D scene for further processing. It optimizes the selection of the particular clip by the possibility to obtain the expected results.